judge he's approaching. I asked him once, my colleague asked him. He's declining the service of public defender. He's going to be representing himself. Okay. Good morning, Mr. McConnell. Good morning, Judge. How are you? I am well, thank you. And Mr. McConnell, for the record, do you understand that you are entitled to have an attorney represent you for this hearing this morning? Yes, I am. And are you declining the services of the public defender at this time? Yes, I am, and I'd like to explain why, please. Well, no. that, that's all right. Yes, I am. That's all right. Yeah, I just need to know you understand. That's okay. All right, so Mr. McConnell, for the record, you're before the court this morning on one charge of aggravated stalking after an injunction for protection has been issued. I find probable cause for this charge, and I will hear the state's recommendation at this time. Your Honor, um, reading this affidavit, I have an extreme concern for the safety of the victim in this case. I pulled her petition for injunction that was uh, granted for a permanent injunction. And in her petition, she actually includes uh, images of uh, a lot of the um, uh, what's mentioned in the affidavit, just uh, corroborating the allegations of the threats that Mr. McConnell has made, the encouragement he's made to others to harm the victim in this case. Um, I'm requesting a 100, and I see no history. That being said, I'm requesting a $100,000 bond. I believe that is necessary to ensure this person's safety. Um, I recognize he does not reside in this state and was extradited here. That being said, I am going to also be requesting pretrial release of the GPS monitor because my concern is, is if he's simply allowed to leave without monitoring his uh, whereabouts, that that also puts the victim at risk in this matter. Uh, I'm going to be ordering uh, no victim contact, no possession of any firearms, weapons, or ammunition, and no possession of any uh, devices with internet access. All right. Mr. McConnell, you understand this is just the first appearance hearing this morning, so I'm not addressing anything about the underlying facts of the case. I'm only addressing bond and release conditions. Do you understand that? Okay. Yes, I do. Thank you. All right. As do you understand the recommendations that the state has just made to me? Can you hear me? I'm, I I'm sorry, I could not hear you. Okay, that's all right. Do you understand the request and recommendations the state has made this morning? No, I, I, my hearing's not good. Okay. But uh, I, I, perhaps the gentleman could repeat them. I'll repeat it's them. Your... I'll repeat them for you. Okay, so that you Thank understand. You. All right. What they're requesting is a hundred thousand dollar monetary bond. And if that bond is posted, that you be placed on pretrial supervision with a GPS monitor, that there be no victim contact, and that you possess no weapons, firearms, or ammunition until further order of the court, and that you have no devices with internet access until further order of the court. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Is there any additional information that you want to provide me with respect to bond only? No, there's not. Okay, all right. So at this time, I'm going to impose the recommended conditions. So Mr. McConnell, I just want to make sure that you understand specifically some of those conditions. With respect to the no contact order, that means with regard to the alleged victim in this case, you're not to have any contact with this person. That means no being in the same place at the same time. Since you would be wearing a GPS monitor, that includes a 500-foot stay-away order from her. The no-contact order also means no phone calls or text messages and no third-party contact or social media contact. That includes email. Do you understand that? Deputy, will you just turn his speaker on? Thank you. Can you understand that, sir? Yes, I do. Okay. Additionally, with regard to the other conditions, the, uh, the order that you possess no weapons, firearms, or ammunition, that means if you are in possession of any of those items, they are to be surrendered to local law enforcement until further order of the court. 
And with respect to the order that you possess no devices with internet access, that means no laptops or cell phones, any type of device that includes internet access. You understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, sir. Good luck to you.